Mark, before the game, Lou said that they, you guys just needed to have togetherness for 48 minutes. That was the number one most in that regard did you see from your group tonight? Yeah, I thought we had pretty good focus throughout. You know, we definitely had our lapses, uh, and they converted on a lot of them. So credit them for how they fought tonight, Detroit. But uh, I thought, you know, we stayed pretty steady throughout the night. I thought we, we were steady to start, steady throughout the first half. Um, and steady throughout the second. And so that's what we were hoping for tonight is a better focus level, especially defensively. I thought we had that despite a pretty good shooting night for them. Uh, so I thought it was a good step forward for us. And then just the scrap on the final possession there, uh, take me through kind of what you saw and, and what stood out to you in that moment. Um, I mean, just great will, you know, by our players. You know, I thought uh, the offense rebound by Dort um, on the first attempt that led to the jump ball. Um, winning the tip, you know, uh, Josh tracking that down, and then obviously Jalen being in position for the rebound is just kind of a, those are just like blood and guts, will plays uh, that they made in those, in that spot, you know, and obviously went and earned that one. And, and in, including that final possession, you guys were able to kind of flip the script on the second chance points in the second half. Obviously they had it going in the first. What was kind of key to, to A, cleaning up their second chances, but also racking up your own? We've done that, you know, offensively all year. We've been really good on the offensive glass. It's given us extra possessions, gives us good attacks uh, on offense, and we did that again tonight, especially in the second half, like you mentioned. Uh, I just thought, you know, our physicality uh, up front in the second half was a lot better. Uh, I thought Jalen did a great job uh, from Arkansas uh, for much of the second half, and then Olivier gave us huge minutes there. You know, we, we tried some different stuff in the first half. Um, and, you know, obviously they got the best of us uh, in the front court. And Olivier, to credit him for being ready to go in there and give us, you know, seven or eight really big minutes. Uh, and he just competed on the glass. You know, he didn't have a, a stat line or anything like that. But he was in the mix down there. And I thought he, he kind of kept Durin at bay during some of that time. And wanted to ask you about Aaron Wiggins just coming off the bench again, just giving you what you need in that moment. It was threes in this game and 19 points. Just what's it like having a guy who you can just call upon and he'll, he seems like he can kind of fill the gaps, whatever's needed there. Yeah, I thought, um, you know, he could have been a little sharper last night, to be honest with you. Um, and I thought his response was really, really good. And we need that from him uh, just in terms of the toughness that he brings to the floor. Uh, the steadiness he brings on both ends. He obviously shot it well tonight, but he competed uh, defensively as well. He had a lot of different assignments. He had the guards at times with Ivy and Hayes, and then he was moving to the front court too. He guarded Bagley a good amount. So uh, we moved him all over the floor, uh, and he did a great job. Coach, you just described that final play and the effort it took for your team to be able to do that. And we hear coaches talk about it all the time. You got to you know, have the, the will to win and, and wanting to have it more than the other team. How satisfying was that for you to watch your team want it more and execute that way in a game where they absolutely had more to play for and, and a desire to win? Uh, nothing to take away from Detroit. I don't think, we, you know, we didn't want it more than they did. They didn't want it more than us. I thought that was just two teams really competing for the game. But we were in the fight tonight, uh, to your point. And, you know, I thought last night, uh, which, you know, what, tonight was a response to for our team, quite frankly, um, they had 70 points of pretty controllable stuff for us, and they shot it well, and we shot it well, and we ended up losing by three. Tonight, you know, on a night where they shot 48% from three, which is an outlying number, um, we still held them, you know, in check. You know, it was because we were we were grittier tonight than we were last night, and I thought the response of our players coming off of a diff disappointing performance last night uh, was right where it needed to be, and this team's made a habit of that all year. We're not perfect, but uh, these guys do a great job of, of refocusing and getting the car back on the road, and I thought they did that tonight. Tyler DeLuca, Ogie Knightley, J-Dub, three games in a row now with over 20 points. Obviously, the gravity of these games couldn't, you know, it's not, not hard to figure out how, how much these games mean. How has he kind of stepped up and taken more responsibility over this kind of three-game stretch, and, and what growth have you seen from him in those games? Uh, his growth has been pretty continuous through the year. You know, he's really steadily grown. He does a great job of uh, managing, you know, the game and also himself and growing from his experiences. Small example, you know, last night we had an end of quarter play, I think it was the end of the third, where uh, he was initiating and um, he went a little early, you know, and that's a situation where you want to get the last shot. He ended up missing a layup. There was four seconds left. Svee got the ball and we ended up fouling him in the bonus and he gets two free throws in a situation where we could have held for the last one. And tonight, 
you know, executed those beautifully. You know, it's like you make the correction and he just turns the page. Just a small example of how quick of a study he is. Uh, and I think his improvement has been a, a combination of uh, him learning and then the game slowing down for him. You guys gave up 32 points in the in the paint in the first half. They were shooting 61% from, uh, there. You only gave up 14 in the second half. What was the key to slowing down their that big lineup? Uh, just like a... a a double down commitment on the part of our guys at halftime you know we that's that's how you lose to that team you know that's plan a for them as they they try to maul you up front uh, and it takes all five guys and i thought um you know olivier like i said gave us big minutes there uh jay will did a great job because their fives really do a lot of the damage there but even you know i thought isaiah had two big rebounds coming out of halftime uh you know, to, to kind of stabilize that part of the game. You know, if you start hitting those guys, they're less incentivized to go every time. And I thought we set a good tone coming out of halftime uh, and carried it through the second half. And then, I mean, pretty even kill guy, but how fun are moments like this that, I mean, you got a game-winning shot from a rookie. Like, how, how fun is that for you? Yeah, it's just a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lou Dort, you almost expect it at this point, but just okay, it's going to go under the radar. We're going to look back at this and just not realize, like, what the overall game, because the box score doesn't show it. But, I mean, obviously he shoots the ball well tonight, gets some rebounds, some steals. But just talk about Lou's overall game and, and how it affected the game tonight. Yeah, there's just a there's an aura to him competitively that's hard to put your finger on. Um, he's not a perfect player, um, but he's a ball of fire on both ends of the floor. And um, there's something to that. You know, in 82 games, there's a lot of ups and downs in the season. There's a lot of ups and downs in the game. Uh, he's not perfect, but uh, he rises to competition. It's just that simple, and it's contagious. You know, I think we've got one of the youngest teams ever, and yet um, we've been pretty feisty and competitive, and I think his physicality, his toughness, his resilience, uh, that stuff's contagious, and it helps our team stick its chest out, and you really can't quantify that, but... Uh, he brings that to us, and the end of the game, you know, it's just a small example of that.